Hello everybody, today I'm going to explain the problem C, Dream Likes Coloring, from the code for the drone 631, division 2. So, in this problem we are asked to color a row of N cells using M colors, such that we color all the cells, and we don't start from the same position twice. We will color the cells from PI to PI plus LI minus 1 if we choose to start from PI. And we need to find out if we can actually do this. And if we can do this, we must print a, a way to do the coloring. This task seems quite annoying to implement and it isn't too easy. I must recognize this. But once you realize some basic observations, you will realize that it's not impossible to solve it. Now let's move on to the solution. So, uh, in my solution I'm going to do a traversal from right to left, from position M to position 1, since this is the order, the reverse order of the coloring. And if we fix the color for, for some position at step I, if we override the positions for the previous colorings, nothing will change. So you should be careful at this. Also, we are going to fill the positions from N to 1, because we are. if we choose some starting position, we must go to the right direction, basically towards N. Basically, we have to check if uh, at some step we are left with enough colors. How to check this? I'm going to move on to the implementation since it's quite hard to explain it in the sketchpad, but it's easier to explain it in an environment. Okay, so this variable uh, tells us the position of uh, the last uh, unfilled position. There may be some positions filled before, but it doesn't really matter if we check it carefully. So, this if shows us if we are left with enough colors to complete the rest of the positions using only one new slot. Basically, if we didn't hit this mark before, we are going to color several cells in order to be able to reach this mark. Here, uh, we uh, say the minimum of i and n minus length of position i plus 1. Why this comparison? Because if we don't do it, we might go uh, outside the array and we don't want this. And we also fix the position to be equal to i minus 1. And we also got the mark. If we got the mark, however, we are going to do the same thing, except we are going to fill only one more place. Otherwise, if we didn't fill the mark yet, we must color as much as possible in order to avoid uh, not having enough colors. So we must use a whole interval. Since we are doing the traversal from M to 1, if, for example, we are going to have some interval which covers the interval written here, nothing will be wrong because this will be the last uh, colored interval and not the previous one, which is, may be bigger. Here we are going to check uh, for the given coloring if it's good. First things first, if we didn't get to the position zero, basically we haven't colored all the uh, positions, we are going to print minus 1. Also, if uh, among the M colors there are two colors which are the same, we are also going to print minus 1. This can also be done by sorting the array and check uh, with some if statements. But I used a set because it's easier for me to write a set. And if we didn't uh, conclude that the array is bad, we are going to just print it, since this is what we are asked to do. Here you see that even though the problem seems annoying from the first reading, my solution is quite small and it has only like 50 lines. 
That being said, I hope you enjoyed watching this video and please check out my other videos for B and D for, for today's round. And if you like the content, please like, share and subscribe. Until the next time, bye.